the ejection seat in the 35 is common across uh, the three uh, aircraft, although as you're explaining to me, the Stobel version ha has some modifications. That's just more the power when it's when it's for fully eject. armed for its radius. As soon as it's going to hover mode, Stobel mode. Just for the ejection of the pilot yes. in emergency. Yes. But everything else is the same. Yes, sir. But this, the way you're explaining to me is that uh, uh, this uh, ejection seat versus, say, an F-16 is uh, much much more integrated. There are many more modular parts so that you don't have to take the seat out to do repairs. You obviously, you obviously don't have to remove the cockpit, at which you do in the, the F-16. No, there's more teardown on the F-16 to get the seat out. Uh, I'm not saying it's it's harder. Um, it's just more time consuming, um, especially you know in the the military needs. You won't you, you don't want to waste time on pulling the seat out. Right. You have to um, you have to be able to pull the seat out if you need to, and and that's one of the one of the the better options you have on this seat is you can work most of the seat on the aircraft and you got a lot of replacement items it's easier to get to it's easier to remove and replace and and it's good for maintenance good for the customer and good for everybody i was talking to one of the guys on the bf5 uh, line and he was saying that uh, his experience of the 16 was uh, it would take about three hours to do the maintenance uh, that you can do in about uh, 20 minutes on the, the 35 because you don't have to remove the canopy and uh, just in terms of ballpark kind of uh, explanation. But the point that you were emphasizing and showing me uh, uh, on the aircraft itself is is how much repair you can do on the seat whilst it stays on the plane. Yes, sir. Because of a lot of modularity a lot of, and, and there's a lot of simplification too, that there are a lot of mechanical parts that were in the older seats that are not in the new seats so that uh, they're not, obviously if they're not there they won't fail. <laughs> and now I guess another important factor is uh, they've cut the inspection requirements immensely on the seat because you don't need them as much now. No, so, but to underscore that point uh, uh, obviously you do the repairs but then you need the inspection of the you repairs. You always have to have an inspection especially when you have a safety of flight. You know this is a seat this is critical for the pilot to you know if he has a emergency situation he has to leave the aircraft and that's one area you don't want it to fail and, and, and always a second pair of eyes never hurts so they by removing a considerable number of parts making it sim simpler to uh, uh, to maintain you're also uh, significantly reducing inspection time necessary to verify uh, the, uh, the the plane is safe for flight that's yes, right when you have less mechanical parts less areas to uh, um, to work in, you know, the less there is, the less there is to do. Exactly. Another thing that you were showing me uh, is the, the the seat. In fact, the cockpit has been designed uh, with significant upgrades for the safety of the pilot himself in terms of, could you talk a little bit about the, the parachute changes and also well, the, uh, the, uh, the, the protection for the lights? Well, the, uh, of course, uh, they have uh, what they have the the on the tunnel where the actual pilot's legs go inside of them, you know, that's where they where he sits in there for the rudder pedals. But during an emergency situation, he has what they have the leg restraints, and these leg restraints retract his legs, make sure that you know, in the time of the ejection, that he there's no injury to the pilot. Not only that, but his um, his uh, I would say his old uniform is designed to, or I would say the his um, cover. His uniform cover has got restraints in it too, so it pulls his hands in, and that makes sure there's no fingers lost or anything when he, he ejects. You know, you don't, that's all part of it. He has no time to think or anything. It's just something the aircraft automatically does for him. And about the parachute release. Uh, and then on, on the parachute itself, uh, you, you know, most times the parachute, you know, when you you get out of the aircraft, it just shoots up in the air, depending on the wind conditions, on you know how fast you're going on there. This time the the chute comes straight out, which is on the back side, and it pulls the seat out and it keeps it open, so you'll never have a problem. No 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 second decision on it. But the parachute opens right up, balances itself on the uh, pilot leaves the aircraft safely.